Hello and welcome to the next installment of Family Fun Day. I'm Elise Solomon, the Director of Learning and Engagement at the Taft Museum of Art. And today our project is inspired by a portrait of Mrs. John Whalen and her son John by English painter Joshua Reynolds. This is one of my favorite mother and child paintings in the museum's collection. When you take a closer look, you can see the very special relationship between the mother and the child figures in this painting. Think about a fond memory that you have with a special adult, like a mother, your grandmother, or maybe a friend. What makes them so special? Well, today we're going to make Mother's Day cards celebrating the special women in our lives. Let's get started. So today we have some, we have a different format that we're using for our art activity. We have the first prep stage, which is an adult led part of this perhaps. And then we have the kid creativity stage. So first for prep, you need to make sure that you have all your supplies ready. Uh, so we have our markers, we have paint brushes, we have some scissors. We have paint that has been spread out on a paper plate. I like paper plates like this because they're disposable and um, you can get a lot of surface area for your for your uh, paint as well. Um, some extra paint if we have uh, if we want to add some more, and then some water where your paint brushes go after you're done using them. And then we have our printing devices. So this is the part that adult you can maybe step out if you'd like to, or you can help out if you maybe have some smaller hands that need help with scissors. So we're um, going to be printing flowers to our cards, um, and so you can see here I've already got my paper card ready with my message on it. Um, you can use whatever paper you have available. Uh, so I'm using toilet paper rolls here. Um, so you can see where we're going to end up with our toilet paper roll. But honestly, flat, uh, just cir the circles right here are totally fine. And I've got a few other circle examples too that we can use if you need it. So this is the part where you, adults, you can either stick around or bail out. <laughs> All right, so let's get our flower ready. We are going to use our toilet paper roll and we're going to use our scissors and we're just going to make small cuts around the outside here. And I think it's important that you're trying to make these cuts about as even as possible, um, as the same depth as the other cuts. It does by no means need to be perfect. This is about having fun. All right, so now that I've done that, then you're going to bend back your petals. I've also done this to make um, fireworks. It's really fun. All right, so now that we have our printer here, so I'm going to now dip it into my paint. And so I've chosen two colors here that I like, and I'm just kind of going around like that. It's okay if you get some of the other paint on it. I think that kind of adds some fun to it because what well, flower is absolutely perfect, right? All right, so now that we have got it mostly covered here, I'm just going to go ahead and start printing. And it's going to go over my words, but I'm okay with that. So you now you will probably need to use your fingers to kind of help you out here with making sure that all the paint is, is, gone, um, is applied to the surface of your paper. And so here we go. Here's our first flower. I'm going to use my second one to get my other color because I like to have a couple of colors going on here. It is spring and it is Mother's Day, so we might as well have some pretty colors going on, right? Now, just to, if you're not familiar with using uh, acrylic paint, I do warn you that these do stain, so you have to be very careful, okay? All right, so I'm putting another one right here. <laughs> of course, it's going right on top of my, my uh, message I've already written here, and that's okay, too. You can always go back with like a Sharpie or something like that and make it a little bit bolder. All right, so there we go. And I kind of think that having some of the asymmetry is really fun. So here we go, we have our beautiful flowers. Now, again, I told you that if you like to just use um, the circle, you totally can do that. So I'm using the other side here. I'm going to add a few more circles, because I might as well, maybe even one inside my flower. I think that might be kind of fun. All right, oh, I always have paper towel too when I'm using acrylic paints. Uh, because you need somewhere to rest your um, dirty devices. All right. Beautiful. Okay. How fun is that? I am going to add just a little bit more. I'm going to add some yellow. I brought these paintbrushes out. Might as well use them, right? All right. So I always like to add a little bit of water to mine. 
And then we're just going to add some fun centers here to the flowers. Ta-da! And look how beautiful that is. Okay. All right. Like I said, this does not need to be perfect, but it is about having fun and adding some new techniques to your arsenal here. So we have this really beautiful printed uh, piece right here. And I will show you what my finished product looks like in just a moment once it dries. Here's my Happy Mother's Day card. So we have the front finished and you are, you know, once this is dry, you can go ahead and decorate the interior of your card too. You could do... Uh, markers, you could do more printing if you would like to. All of those options are available to you. I hope you enjoyed this project and if you want to see more videos like this, go to tappedmuseum.org, uh, follow us on social media, and hashtag tappedmuseumdiscovered. Until next time, happy Mother's Day!